All right, music fans, uh, skipping the intro as the journey turns, uh, this latest installment, full journey meltdown. Like, just unbelievable. I, I just reading this stuff, it's crazy. So, the big news is um, Neil Sean's attorney has responded to Jonathan Kane's lawsuit. All right. And, uh, this is crazy stuff. And there's more. There's more in addition to that. There's stuff that Neil Sean has said on X. That's crazy. And then we find that the onstage chemistry is, is starting to unravel, if there was any onstage uh, chemistry. So this started because Jonathan Cain was asking for an intermediary uh, to break votes, to, to break tie-breaking votes. Otherwise... Um, he believes that the band may soon be confronted with a financial day of reckoning. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Petitioners, here's what Jack Yoskowitz says. He's Neil Sean's attorney, and he confronted Judge J. Travis Laster yesterday during a hearing. He says, petitioners' allegations that the company faces imminent irreparable harm from a purported inability of the company to meet its financial obligations has no basis in fact. Full stop. So who do you believe? If they can't, if they can't meet their financial obligations, why is that happening? He did not offer another reason as to why this is happening, but he did say a more complete written response was coming uh, on Monday, Kane's lawsuit alleges that Sean is spending up to $10,000 a night while on tour. He says Sean has also run up bills in the hundreds of thousands of dollars for private jets while using the company credit card for personal matters. These unexpected expenses are reportedly creating intense budget pressure. In most cases, lawyers say Journey has been unable to meet its obligations to members of the crew and the production company. So, okay, if lawyers are saying this, why wouldn't it be true? I mean, I guess maybe if you had lawyers and accountants saying it, people who, you know, balance the books or whatever, look at the books and, and say, okay, uh, we're putting out this amount of money. Um, but we're not taking in enough money to cover those expenses. Yoskowitz, again, said our client, now get this, our client denies, that would be Neil Sean, that there's been any mismanagement. That would be like me saying, you know what? I deny that the sky is blue. I'm just denying it. And so that isn't a reason as to why there isn't mismanagement. In other words, his denial doesn't mean anything. He's just saying, I don't think there's been any mismanagement. Adding, get this, adding that any band dysfunction was created by Jonathan Kane. Wow, this is nuts. Um, if you want to keep yourself in the news each day, Journey is doing it, all right? Is this going to help ticket sales? Right now, I think this is a net negative. It's just gotten too crazy and too bizarre. Um, by the way, the attorney here for Neil Sean uh, specifically referenced public allegations that may harm the group. So Kane, by coming out and saying, hey, I'm worried about this, and Kane even softened things up a couple days ago, his attorney said, what we're looking for is an arbitrator, an intermediary, another board member, whatever you want to call it, a neutral party, who's going to oversee things. That's all we're doing. We're not saying that Neil Sean owes us money or anything like that. So even after softening things up a little bit and kind of backpedaling or walking it back a little, after reading this, this seems like a full meltdown. Now, of course, you put things together. People are not putting together maybe that the UK and Ireland uh, tour dates being canceled was a direct result of this. Um, there's also rumors out there about ticket sales, that they were soft. 
and um, the promoter decided to pull the plug because ticket sales were soft. And uh, maybe the band signaled that they wanted to pull the plug. Maybe somebody within the organization who was trying to act responsible because they knew they weren't going to be able to afford to keep touring. It says here, though, it's unclear what role, if any, was played by background financial issues or the legal wrangling that's going on. Now, here's where it gets even worse. All right. And, and again, this is on Neil Sean responding to a fan who was questioning how much uh, Neil Sean was spending. Was he spending $10,000 a night on tour? Neil Sean responded on X. He said, BS. And what do you care? I pay for it. Wow. Okay. So that doesn't look like a clear denial. Because if it was a clear denial, Neil would have said, no, I don't spend $10,000 a night. The BS, you could say, is a reference to the 10000 But then he comes back with, what do you care? I pay for it. He also described the cancellation of the band's UK and Ireland dates as very unfortunate. So when you're in a legal situation like this, should you talk to people online about this stuff? Should you have conversations with random people on X? Probably not. If there's a lawsuit going on, you don't communicate with others. And this whole part of what do you care? Well, if the band is spending, you know, if, if he's spending $10,000 a night and they can't pay their bills, then there won't be a, a journey. Journey will stop. It will cease and not exist anymore. So fans uh, probably are right to ask questions. They're, you know, th this poor guy who, who got beat up here a little bit, and uh, what do you care? Well, I care because that's ridiculous. That's what I would have come back with. That's kind of ridiculous. If that's true, you're bankrupting the band. That's what you come back with. You know, I get it that you've earned it and you should spend it, but who needs to spend $10,000 a night on anything? Seriously. Sean and Kane both own 50% in Freedom 2020. That's the Journey Tour Management subsidiary. Sean, though, serves as president. So during Wednesday's hearing, Kane's attorney, uh, Sidney Liebesman, said Sean believes that he can do whatever he wants in that role. As a result, the band has become more dysfunctional. It is in crisis. Liebesman says the damage is taking place during the tour. Now get this, there's even more. Beyond the financials, there have also... Uh, been reports of petty disagreements between Kane and Sean about issues like whether Kane should play rhythm guitar during performances of Journey's 1978 radio favorite, Wheel in the Sky. That's created a toxic internal environment out on the road. This, according to Jonathan Kane's attorneys, rather than focusing on the band's performances during a major international tour, the band's business manager, Lead vocalist and crew members now, now find themselves caught in the middle of the director's disputes, afraid of performing their job responsibilities and pressured to align with one director or another. In the meantime, the band has lost multiple members of its crew. Their names never made it onto album covers or the band's official websites, or worse, they got deleted after some falling out. Wow. So you're losing crew and you can't pay your bills. And there's no real denial of the spending. And now we've got arguments about the tour itself. Um, I hate to make predictions, but this tour probably is going to just stop at some point. It, it, it I, I mean, unless the only reason the tour continues is because maybe Kane thinks that we need to keep going so we can pay what we owe, right? That's and, and maybe forfeit, maybe the guys forfeit some of what they would normally take in. But 
if crew members are being fired now um, and people are just not getting along, and again, it's affecting, it is finally affecting the onstage stuff. I mean, Kane being out there on guitar obviously takes away from Sean being out there on guitar. And I have a hunch that um, Neil wants to be out there on guitar by himself. That's, I have a hunch based on a few conversations I've had with various people, all right? And it sounds really petty, right? But John should stay on keyboards and Neil should stay on guitar and we don't want to get everybody mixed up and confused. So this is a band in complete meltdown and complete turmoil. And it wouldn't shock me, let me put it this way, it wouldn't shock me if this tour just went away. Now, granted, you've got these other bands out there so they may just continue without Journey. I, I I can't imagine that happening, but at this rate, if this keeps snowballing, I mean, what's Monday going to... What are we going to learn on Monday? Is Monday is just going to be another day of allegations and uh, information, and Sean's attorney is going to put out a longer statement. So I'm sure I will talk about that probably on Tuesday. Because this hearing happened yesterday, and there may be more stuff like immediately that happens. Like by the weekend, you could hear about, hey, Journey has pulled the plug on everything. I mean, how can the band continue? How can they go out there and continue with this level of acrimony and dysfunction? It, it doesn't seem possible. So I'll try to keep you up to date on that. In the meantime, thanks for watching. God bless everyone, and I will see you soon.